Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, a bit of Payne's grey, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre. Just a rough sketch. You don't need to do elaborate sketches if you're going to uh, cover it up the paint. You can do a better way to start. I, I just use a black acrylic marker pen. <coughs> uh, put a bit of a uh, dryer in with my oil. And this is on a piece of heavy duty uh, watercolour paper. Uh, primed with two coats of acrylic paint. Uh, and a bit of PVA glue in the in the first coat, but this is this gives quite a bit of a nice rough surface, well roughish, a bit of tooth to it. I love painting on paper; it's cheap compared to uh, canvas, and and um, I can't remember what I was going to say then. Uh, I do that quite often. No, that's quite square. Uh, this is the size is seven and a half inches by eleven. The aperture is about oh, ten and a half by by seven. So quite a small. It's half a sheet, a half a I don't know why I don't know about eight two three four ten. Anyway, the day outside is pretty miserable. There's quite a bit of rain. Yesterday was a lovely day. I feel sorry. The next next door, I've got all their, all their grandchildren staying over. And they can't go and play out in the garden now because of this uh, wonderful summer weather we're not having. Uh, right, okay. Um, I'm going to do another salt marsh, and I'm basing this one on an Edward Sego painting, one of the great Norfolk painters of the, of the 20th century. Wonderful. Here's. Uh, if you know about the Antiques Roadshow, one of his, his paint box, well not one of them, his paint box came up. Uh, somebody has got it and they paid, I don't know what, it's worth about 1500 quid. It's a box easel with, with his paints inside and, it's, and it's, uh, it goes back to his wartime days when he was a war artist and uh, designed a camouflage. Uh, but he's born very Norfolk, so I'm just going to just, just do a tiny bit of grey on the horizon so you see there's no point in doing elaborate stuff because you've got to cover it up touch of yellow oak yellow oak in there a uh, bit of sky a bit of, bit of oil get it to flow Yeah, could be, be bristle there. Just rough in the sky. Yeah. Oh, it's falling out of this. I think uh, the. Uh, Problem people have with skies, and I had problems with it as, as well, of course, is that they uh, try to finish to a finished sky before they even started. Just work your way in, into a painting, I, I reckon. So it's beginning to see the tooth in the paper now. A bit of movement. Go back into that. A 
Building the sky up. Clean the brush. I want to get. Uh, I'll use another brush. Touch of yellow ochre. And while we're at it, let's bang a bit of that. Bit of the. Uh, marsh stream through the marsh reflects a bit of sky in there okay just to remind me i want to, i'm doing this from seago i'm not copying this copying it i'm just using the elements and just moving around a bit um it's learning how to to do salt marshes simply now i've been using this brush, it's a lovely worn out brush for stippling, but Seago use more blocky colour with a sort of a rough looking brush, but uh, we'll try that. Uh, I'll just carry on with that sky, so I get some good lights in there now. Is that a touch of yellow? Very useful colour is uh, yellow ochre in the skies. Just gives that. Since you don't want white clouds, you want whitish clouds. Okay, well, I quite like that. I don't know. We won't poke and put it to death. We'll put a bit of a, let's come down that to horizon a bit. We're going to put some trees and try to indicate some fields. Right, I hope it's going to be of that bluey colour. Very faint. This is not going to show up. I'm going to put a bit of so a tree. Uh, got a tree brush. It's a nice one. <coughs> if you've not watched my stuff before, <coughs> my oil painting, I clean clean up with uh, uh, washing up liquid. It cleans your brushes beautifully, keeps them lovely and soft, and keeps your hands lovely and soft as well. Uh, right, okay, now I'm going to put some trees in, so on. some burnt sienna, sort of an autumn -y feel. So I'll touch a paint spray in it. on the tops and I put a bit of a well, bushy stuff in here Some lightest of touches. I thought I'd go down here a bit there. I just want to come up with that. 
quiet. Okay, let's get some uh, bluish, faint colour in here. Just indicate stuff. Okay, let's get that up a nice light field now. There I go, all the way across there. in this so we'll do something like it. Oh just go to some darky darker bits just just to vary this stuff. Oh, she has lovely this. Okay, let's put another fuel in. Uh, oh. uh, it's slightly yellow, I think. Don't show up against the, the brown of uh, the paper or the burnt umber. So we can get that bit of light going under these trees here. Right, let's uh, work on the water a little bit. Sun's coming out somewhere, it's, the sky's brightened up a little bit. I've got a fan of bubbling, my sister and brother in law coming for, for lunch. I'm testing out my, my newly learnt paella. paella. Okay, so let's, let's uh, use another brush here. Let's uh, yes, use this sort of, sort of flat brush, bright, laid around the, these brushes. Most of them, apart from the Chinese one, the cheaper one. Uh, right, now then. See, I didn't hang around when he did his paintings. Went for it. Got a little bit of grey in there. Got 
very, very rough. Oh, so there's some, some grass over here. Let's do something on the banks. Good fun, isn't it? I've got um, about 500 videos on my Patreon channel. It's a very expensive. It's about the, the minimum is about four four pounds four four pounds three pounds a month, and no obligation to renew or anything. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to let's see if I can just get some cloud. Just to brighten things up a little bit. It's so obvious. Right, okay, I've got to darken these banks now. A little bit of dark. The reason I'm putting this dark in here is that I'm going to drag it down. There is colours a bit. Push there. Bit of dark in there. Oh, not too dark. Not too big. Now we're going to lighten this cloud coming in here. So we'll have just a slightly off white mix. going down there there. <coughs> well, what we do now is just to put it down. All that sort of like latches. No, most of these were got. Just gives that impression of uh, 
of a reflection. I can highlight that a bit more. Oh, that's got another tree over that horizon. Some bit of yellow ochre back in here. Let's light that up a bit. It's a bit harsh. Right, I suppose we should uh, put a couple of uh, chunks in. Just a, just a hint of it. Uh, right, well, I don't think I can do much more than that. It's just bring that uh, down a bit. Just bring that back up a little bit. just suggested really okay well that's my sort of attempt at a of a sea go if you haven't got the confidence to, to have a go oil painting just to start small just use your paper uh, I, 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 I use um, MDF as well, 3 millimeter MDF. Uh, we're looking a bit short of that. I'm waiting for my daughter in law to go to uh, Essex Frames and Wessex Frames over in Leatherhead. They live not far from there. And get me a, oh, about eight or nine sheets for £25. It's, it does vary in quality, well not quality, but in paintable quality in that if you rub it up too much the, the uh, primer, if you've got a primer, will uh, lift the surface too much. Not a bad thing. And the reason I paint on MDF, one, one it's, it's light, um, two, it's, it, it doesn't take up much space. When it's lying flat or on its edge, well, the canvases do, of course. Uh, right, let's put a mount on that. And from the other way, move that over there to the center. And we're going to put this on a blue clay mount on it. Not quite the right shape. I see we've got a better one. <coughs> That was probably too, too, too big. Oh, this might be better. That's better. Well, oh, it's just, just a tiny bit of the margin showing a little bit of tape there. Uh, well, there we are. That's uh, my, my attempt at a go. I've changed things around a bit, but you might you might recognise it. 
Uh, I had an old friend who uh, using his wanted to use his paint up, so he did a, a, a painting about that size, but of a copy, actual copy of the of the, of the uh, Seago painting, and it's an absolute little gem, absolutely superb. Anyway, I hope you like that, folks. Thanks for looking in, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.